Hello folks, it is I, Napalm. We're gonna do another showcasing on the game Batman Arkham Knight. This time I'm gonna do Harley Quinn. Um, the reason why I'm doing Harley Quinn is because I've been actually like, um, reading a little more about her actually. Um, well like, I'll just start off, well actually let me just start off with my night actually, I gotta tell you. I performed an Irish goodbye today actually. Um, for those of you who don't know what that term means, it's when you're like invited to an event or a party, you know, like, you know, you go out with friends or coworkers or anything, and, um, you know, you just leave without saying goodbye to anyone, though. Um, yeah, one of my friends had a birthday, and they had it at this bar, it, and, um, it had like a DJ or something like that, I don't know why, but it was like loud, I couldn't hear anyone. Um, I only spent like 30 minutes there, honestly. I was, I said hi to like the birthday girl, and, you know, hi to some of the people that I sat next to. But literally, like, after that, like, I didn't do anything. I just, um, I was just humbly sitting down, you know. Like, I tried to get a drink, but, like, people were ordering forever. One guy was, like, haggling on trying to reduce the prices on his drink or something like that. Like, he was trying to, like, know what the specials were. So, I didn't even get a drink or anything. So, I was like, this is not fun. So, um, I just waited for, like, the birthday girl to, like, look away or be, like, really, like, in, in like, in a trance with their friends. And then I just uh, made my exit and and I left. Um, I I was wearing this shirt, you know, just like a collar button up and a hat. And I just like walk, I was like walking around like the bar. And then like I took off my hat and then I just took off my uh, shirt, you know, just to avoid recognition. And I just went out and then I was like, ah, success, successful exit. And I just felt like a secret agent or something like that. Like it was it was pretty funny. Um, but yeah, I just. I literally spent only 30 minutes there. I went to Carl's Jr. I ate it, you know, watched some videos on YouTube, and now I'm here doing a showcase for you guys. And I gotta say, this is actually a lot more fun than what I would have been spending at that bar over there. So I'm glad to be back in the comfort of my home and be able to hear things without something blasting in my ear. So yeah, I'm not doing very good right now, but it's kind of hard to talk and fight. <clears throat> All right, so let's get on to... um topic of Harley Quinn actually so um I started um like I as I've told you guys before I just started like finishing the stack of comics that I've had on my shelf and um, I was uh, finishing up uh, Batman Rebirth you know I'm all cut up now I read to the point where the last issue came out and one of them is just the um, the arc that I just finished was with uh, Poison Ivy I think it's called everyone loves Poison Ivy and um, <clears throat> what a it's like an arc she takes over everyone's minds, I mean like literally everyone's mind in the world and I'm like, ah, eh, this, it was an okay arc, a little too much in terms of like the whole like, like her whole intentions that she took over the entire world. And um, I remember talking to a friend of mine and um, he said the like, like he said the same thing like, well not with the arc, but he said like the problem with like the now the Batman movies like you know the Snyder ones is just the fact that it's all very too catastrophic like too big you know it's like why can't they just have something within Gotham City you know something that they can handle and that I felt like that was with this arc though like Poison Ivy took over like the entire world she took control of them I won't say how just so you guys can read it but it was just like a little unbelievable it's like all right I, I don't really buy this to be honest um one of the, anywho, one of the topics that came up was like um, she took over Harley Quinn, and um, Harley Quinn was actually the key to like reforming Poison Ivy to not take over the world. And she was just like, "What you're doing is bad, you know." And you like Harley wouldn't like this. And um, I'm reading it, and it just like there's like some there's like some hints that um, Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy are a couple. So I was actually a little curious. I'm like, "Huh, that's interesting." Let me get out of this though. There's like too much going on. Let me go to a challenge map that's a little less exciting, you know, not that much excitement going on. Um, but yeah, like, um, okay, hold on. But yeah, it's just like, um, there was like a possibility, you know, like, um, Harley Quinn's like hugging her, like saying, like, it's all right, sweetie, it's all right, we'll save you. And I thought like, maybe that's just some friendly term or something like that. Maybe that's just like, you know, a girl, friend of a girl, you know, comforting another girl. But I look it up, and it's actually true that um, Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy are, in fact, a, a couple. They are an item, you know. They're like, there's, it's definitely, I think, from what I read, like, from the creators or, like, people responsible for the art, is that, um, yes, they are in a monogamous uh, relationship. 
And there's some people that, um, you know, like, there's always going to be some people that don't like that idea. I honestly, <clears throat> you know, I'm actually like, I was like, oh, that's, it's definitely an interesting take. And I'm actually for it, to be honest. Um, one review that I read that from someone is that um, they don't like how, just not the fact that, you know, they're a couple, you know, um, it's just the fact that um, they changed like the characters you know in terms of like Harley Quinn is now a good guy like most of the sh stuff she does is out of character and it's just not the same Harley Quinn that you know everyone knows um, but I honestly don't have an issue with that honestly it's just like well the thing is there's many variations of Harley Quinn there's the animated series there's the one from uh, Suicide Squad which well I gotta say it's bad <laughs> there's that rendition <coughs> um, but the one that everyone pretty much knows is just the one from the animated series and like the Arkham games where she's like loyal to the Joker. And like she's the boy the girlfriend. She acts like, you know, like does everything he wants to do just to please um but deep down Harley Quinn is actually ridiculously smart. She's like she used to be a a psychiatrist or something and she like had a PhD. She actually earned her doctorate, so she's actually a pretty like overseeing character everybody thinks she's like the ditz but she's really not she's actually like overlooked i gotta say everybody just sees her as the the one girl that dresses up in tights and just is all goofy but she's not um i actually read harley quinn the first issue for the rebirth series and first five pages are like a little slow it's literally just her and poison ivy going to the spa just doing a little recap of everything Actually, I thought that part was fine, actually. It's just the next five pages, what happened. She's, like, doing a recap of, like, her life. And she has this posse now. She's no longer with the Joker. She, well, he dumped her. So, that was because of him. But she got, like, this posse together. She's not with the Suicide Squad. She, like, gathered, like, a whole group of people. In terms of, like, Harley's army, though. That's, like, this is Harley's squad. And, um, that part I was just a little lost, because she's introducing everyone, you know, just like, this is my group, you know, we got the Harvey Quinn, the male version of Harley Quinn, all this stuff, da 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 and I was just a little lost, I was like, alright, this is cool, I guess. Um, but after that, you know, it comes with the main conflict, it's just like, there's a zombie apocalypse that happens, and how that happens is actually, I think it's actually really funny. Um, I thought that, that it's, um, how it happened, I'll tell you guys anyways, though. But, so that way you guys can read the rest on your own, is how it happens, is like, there's an alien that comes, that lands on Earth, it lands on a farm, these farmers are coming out to check it out, and the alien's just like, oh crap, there they are, I gotta disguise myself as these cows, you know, these docile animals. So the alien disguises himself as a, as a cow, oh crap, the simulation ended, and <laughs> unknowingly, he's led into a slaughterhouse, so... The alien, I'm gonna do it again, just so you guys could see the action of this. So the alien goes into the slaughterhouse, he gets killed, and then he gets, his meat, or his carcass gets processed, and, you know, like, his, uh, his meat is tainted. So, like, whoever ate, you know, this, like, alien meat, which was a cow, well, it was just a regular alien, you know, like a green alien with big eyes, but he turned himself into a cow. So anyone who ate this, and this was distributed at fast food places, were infected and these human beings turn into zombies and I thought that was actually pretty funny how they did it um, but yes I continue the first issue and it's actually really funny I actually found myself wanting to read more I got two issues though um, and well I read them online I won't tell you where um, and it's actually funny I'm on the second issue and so far it's not failing to disappoint so I think at this point that if I finish reading the second issue and I'm really loving it or maybe the third I'm gonna start buying the Harley Quinn series though, because I gotta say that for the Rebirth series, um, I really like the cover art for Harley Quinn, for Harley Quinn Rebirth, because they're actually very colorful, they're very like, it's like, it definitely stands out. Whenever I go to my comic shop to get like, you know, my regular ones, like Batman, The Flash, um, Doomsday Clock or whatever, um, I always see Harley Quinn, never thought to pick it up, I was like, oh, but it actually has a really cool cover. And, um, you know, I always I always overlook it. But after, like, this Batman arc with uh, Poison Ivy and uh, the whole thing where I find out that um, they're a couple, I just thought, this is actually interesting. It's something that I can get behind. So I think I'm going to start reading uh, Harley Quinn uh, Rebirth, um, depending if it's good, which um, it, it is actually looking really good, i got to say. So <clears throat> that's going to be something we'll have to get behind. So, but yeah, 
I definitely, I definitely am one for the Harley Quinn uh, shipping with Poison Ivy. Um, it's definitely a lot better than the freaking Bat Barbara Gordon and Bruce Wayne. That I don't like at all. It's just like, ugh. I remember there was something that I failed to mention though. Actually, something that I really wanted to say. Um, yes. Um, so I don't know if you guys remember, but like with Batgirl, like there was one part where I said there was one version where. Barbara Gordon becomes impregnated by Bruce Wayne, and that's actually the Batman Beyond storyline. I think it's the one after the Justice League where he finds out that Bruce is his father, but um, he's like talking to Barbara Gordon, and um, Dick Grayson returns, and he meets Terry McGinnis, and he asks him, just like, yeah, um, Bruce and I never really, uh, never really talked much, you know, and then uh, he's like, you want to tell him why Barbara Gordon, and then um, Barbara tells him that, um, that um, Dick Grayson and Barbara, they were dating for like a good while, a good long time, and um, yeah, like they were getting ready to marry though, like you see like a photo of Dick Grayson picking out the ring with Barbara, but then she has this concerned look on her face, and that's when she tells Bruce that she's been pregnant, and you know, like so pretty much that's, that re really made me a little more mad though, because she cheated on Dick. Um, so I was just like, well that's fucked up. Like Batman and Batgirl just Cross, double cross um, Nightwing so I was just like that is messed up that is some messed up crap and that that really annoyed me though um, so like Nightwing finds out I think uh, Barbara tells him and he confronts Bruce and they get into a fight um, Nightwing takes down um, Batman Bruce Wayne but I feel like Batman let him though you know just knowing the situation like all right you're mad I get it so I'll let you I'll let you win and, um, and, and while that's happening, um, Barbara finds these um, thugs in the alleyway, like, trying to rob a woman. And Barbara, you know, like, puts on her hoodie or, like, a mask, you know, a bandana and fights them. But unfortunately, in the process, she has a miscarriage and, you know, she loses the baby. I don't want to sound messed up and say that I'm glad that happened, but, well, yeah, I'm, that, that sounds evil. But I just couldn't help thinking, like, I can't help but say that you guys deserve this, you know, because you kind of fucked over one of your own family members in terms of like yeah that sounds messed up forget I said that but in a way it's just like well you kind of you kind of did some harm to a someone and in terms of that you know harm came to you so yeah so I don't know but yeah yeah I will never I will never ever ever ship Barbara Gordon and Bruce Wayne Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy, that is something I can get behind. That is something new. Definitely, like, not what I would ever expect, but it's something I'm like, you know what? I'll, I understand this, though, actually. Because, um, during one of the flashbacks, you know, like, Harley Quinn's just like, you know, I love the Joker. I did everything for him. But in the end, you know, he ended up, like, dumping me no matter what I did for him, though. Even though I gave him everything that I had, everything that I was, in the end, he still left me and chose something else. So I kind of thought, I think that's actually a really good thing, though, actually. Like, um, you know, it's just like Harley Quinn's just like, like, she's been, like, broken by the Joker. It's kind of like that abusive boyfriend kind of way, which it's a dead obvious thing with Harley Quinn and the Joker. And, um, yeah, you know, like, she's like, it just shows flashbacks that, you know, she was, like, finding herself, or, well, not finding herself, but just trying to gain a better peace of mind, and she's doing all these things, um, and they're just short mentions of the new 52. That one I really want to read in terms for Harley Quinn, though. Because it seems like it's like a really good story arc. And Zack Snyder has nothing to do with the Harley Quinn arc for new 52. So I think, you know, that's definitely a plus. So, um, yeah, it, it seems like for Rebirth, she's like trying to become her own woman, you know, like trying to do choose her own path nothing to do with the joker and that's actually something that's very admirable something very cool with this character of harley quinn though she's not dependent on the joker she's not like very like a looney tune like very like derpy like some i mean i do like that side though but it's just like it's kind of getting over the fact that she's like you know going life and limb for the joker so it's really a good change of breath that she's uh doing something for herself and that she's like getting into a new relationship in one most like you know like a homosexuality relationship though she's like dating a girl 
And I know a lot of people are like a little off of it. I was like, oh, gay, okay, that's gross. Or like, ugh, they're like homophobic. Um, but I think it's actually really good. It's actually like a really different take for that, you know, like a villain with a villain. And it seems like Poison Ivy and Harley Quinn really get along really great from the past arcs that I've read. So it's definitely something I'm excited for, to be honest. Um, so I think I will be reading uh, the Harley Quinn series. And there's 42 issues, so that's definitely a good reason to fill my cabinet back up to the stacks. Um, it's like very, very low. It's like maybe like 10 issues and I'm kind of sad. I was like, oh, I have nothing to read now when, once I'm done. But it's actually a good reason for me to like um, get back at it. I'm going to start collecting the Harley Quinn series, which is very exciting. So yeah. Anything else that I want to cover up? <clears throat> Let me just do one more maybe. Um, I'll try to think of something, but I'll do it in a, the different costume though. The Arkham Knight uh, Harley Quinn. Um, there, I feel like there was something I also wanted to talk about. Um, no, that's not what I want. This is what I want. Right here. Alright, we'll do one with that and then I'll stop. I just gotta think of what, I, what was I gonna do. Um, what was I gonna talk about? I don't know. I like Harley Quinn, yes, blah blah blah. Birds of Prey is really good. I've been reading that. And right now I have Spider-Gwen. I think I've talked about Spider-Gwen before. I kind of want to like save that for the Spider-Man that's coming out in uh, September. But all I got to say is it's definitely getting better. But I won't go into too much detail though. But um, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Christ. I kind of wish that we could just free him as Harley Quinn, but in a way I kind of understand why they wouldn't, because like a majority of the whole roaming of Gotham is to fly around, and Harley Quinn obviously can't fly, so maybe they did us a favor. But even that, in a way, I kind of wish that all these characters were like playable in its own ways. Especially these characters, like Harley Quinn, the Red Hood, because they definitely have really good special movements that I really like. Um, in terms of speaking of Harley Quinn, I have mentioned it before, don't watch Batman and Harley Quinn, that is a bad animation one, it's, it's probably like the worst, yeah, I, I didn't like it, I, I would even say it's worse than Suicide Squad, like Suicide Squad I was able to watch throughout the whole thing, Our Batman and Harley, I had to stop, I was like, no, nah, I can't, I can't make it, nope, nope, there was some part that I, I actually like did watch it though, but um, there was some parts where I had to fast forward though, like there was one where like um, uh, Harley seduces Nightwing, he has him tied him to the bed and you know it seems like you know she's gonna do something, it was just like the dialogue is just so bad, it's just like god, it's not good at all. So, you know if you're interested in watching Harley Quinn, don't watch that one. Watch, read the Re Rebirth one, I actually read the new 52 first though because I know a lot goes on with that. And I think there's only 30 issues though, so it's not a lot. Um, but yeah, I think like in order to understand some of the things that goes on in uh, Rebirth, you need to uh, read the New 52. It's not crucial, but it's just so you could understand like some of the elements of what they're talking about. Um, and I remember buying Strong Bad, the, ge the five games, they said the same thing. It was just like, you know, it's definitely recommended you see the Strong Bad episodes, or the Homestar Runner episodes, that's what it's called just to understand the jokes or like what they're talking about and I didn't and I still have fun with the game the the game though I, I'm literally laughing with it though it's like I really like um, Telltale's like early works it's like definitely an overlooked gem and it's very fun to see what they were doing before The Walking Dead, Batman and all this other stuff so it's it, it's always good yeah I, I like that that Monkey Island Sam and Max hidden gems that I feel like I definitely need to record just to expose it just so people could see like what they're missing out or like what Telltale Games did before these Batman and you know Walking Dead stuff alright we're at the end of it and that's all I've got for you guys thank you guys again for watching uh, leave a like comment and if you're new subscribe I saw some of the comments for the suggestions of uh, showcasing though one of them was Arkham Asylum though I will get to that though I just wanted to talk about Harley Quinn and it would make sense to do a Harley Quinn showcase playing as Harley Quinn. So the next one will be um, Arkham Asylum or, you know, whatever. Just leave a comment of what you guys want to see and I'll try to get to it though. I know one of you guys wanted Catwoman. I'll get to that too. 
It's just that I got to do research, you know. I need something to talk about, though. I don't want to just go, like, talk about my personal life or something like that because I don't think you guys want to hear about that. Um, maybe for, like, as an intro, you know, for the first two minutes. But other than that, yeah, I got to do my research, you know, just to stay on topic. Anyways, thank you guys again. Ta-ta, TTFN. Ta-ta for now. It didn't turn off. What the fuck?